Hello and welcome. Ansys Fluent is a powerful and versatile CFD software which is widely used in industry and academia. Engineers routinely use CFD simulations to test their ideas and optimize the performance of devices and processes. Usually, this results in a large number of complex simulations which consume enormous amount of time. It is imperative to have these simulation times reduced because this will ultimately reduce the time to market. The traditional approach for this is to run the CFD solver on a large number of CPUs otherwise known as high performance computing. In the recent years, we have seen quantum leaps in the development of GPU hardware and dedicated programming languages that help developers architect the CFD solvers equivalent to those designed for traditional CPUs but instead leveraging the power of the GPU. ANSYS has been a trailblazer in the use of GPU technology for simulation and has taken this to a new level with the full release of the multi-GPU solver in ANSYS Fluent. In this video lesson, through a simulation example of a lowered fin heat exchanger, we will highlight the solver features available on the new ANSYS Fluent multi-GPU solver. We will also identify the performance benefits that can be achieved by using GPUs instead of the CPUs for running the CFD simulations. Excited? Let's get started. GPUs are well suited for parallel computing since they can perform many calculations simultaneously and process large amount of data much quicker than CPUs. Leveraging GPUs in the CFD world is not a new concept and GPUs have been used as CFD accelerators for quite some time. ANSYS Fluent implemented offloading to GPUs technology in 2014 by passing some parts of the CFD solver algorithm to the GPUs to accelerate the overall simulation time. The local acceleration obtained was case dependent and the ANSYS Fluent solver was not yet optimized for GPUs. This limited the overall solution speed. Starting with 2022 R1, ANSYS Fluent takes this usage of GPU technology to a new level with the introduction of a new native multi-GPU Fluent solver. This new solver has been architected from the ground up to run natively on GPUs and exploit their full potential. This eliminates the overhead of exchanging data between the CPU and the GPU, hence resulting in faster simulation compared to offloading. Native GPU implementation results in astounding gains and the main benefits include increased performance, reduced hardware costs and reduced power consumption. The multi-GPU solver supports all mesh types and is available for all incompressible and subsonic compressible flows. It also supports temperature dependent material property definition as well as turbulence models, solid conduction, conjugate heat transfer, moving walls, species transport and porous media. In this video, we will highlight some of the solver features supported by the multi-GPU in the 2023 R1 version of the ANSYS Fluent through a conjugate heat transfer simulation of a lowered fin heat exchanger. A lowered fin heat exchanger is a type of heat exchanger that increases surface area for heat transfer using perpendicular fins. Hot fluid flowing over the fins transfer heat to the cold fluid through these fins or vice versa. The exchanger consists of conductive fins attached to tubes which are made of corrosion resistance material. For the problem discussed here, we are dealing with a lowered fin made of aluminium having tubes made of copper that are arranged in a staggered layout with a span-wise pitch of 22 mm and a stream-wise pitch of 56 mm. The fins are 3 mm thick and have a pitch of 2 mm. Air at 20 degrees Celsius approaches the heat exchanger with a velocity of 4 meters per second. The Reynolds number based on the fin pitch is 1470, so the airflow is considered to be laminar. It is assumed that the 50% ethylene glycol solution at 80 degrees Celsius flows inside the copper tubes at the velocity corresponding to a Reynolds number of 8000. The liquid inside the tubes is not simulated. Instead, a convective heat transfer coefficient of 1050 
watts per meter square kelvin is applied on the inner walls of the tube let's now see how we can set this problem up in the ansys fluent multi gpu solver first let's open the fluent launcher and select the solution mode we'll be using the 2023 r1 version the fluent gpu solver is only available at the enterprise licensing level and therefore select enterprise from the capability level drop down list you will notice that the native gpu solver option is activated under the solver options to enable the gpu solver simply check the native gpu solver option and click okay on the pop up message displayed note that fluent gpu solver only supports nvidia gpus which are compatible with CUDA version 11 or newer if your machine has a graphics card with more than one gpu and you intend to use the solver with multiple gpus then you will have to set the number of gpus you want to use in this case we only have one gpu available when using fluent gpu solver the cpu processes are only used for case setup and post processing while the solver calculations are done by the gpu you can increase the number of cpu processes to use multiple cpu processes in parallel during the case setup and post processing please note that the number of cpu processes specified must be greater than or equal to the number of gpu specified after the fluent launcher is set up appropriately with all the inputs click start to open the ansys fluent gpu solver Although the graphical user interface of the Fluent GPU solver is similar to that of the CPU solver, it is important to note that the solver features not yet supported by the GPU solver will not be available in the GUI. Let's load the mesh file into the session. Go to File, Read, Mesh, and select the provided mesh file. You can display the mesh using the Mesh Display dialog box. The mesh count for this problem is around 1.5 million cells. While checking the solver settings, you will notice that you have only the pressure-based type of solver and absolute velocity formulation available. However, we can solve both steady and transient simulation in GPU solver. Now let's set up the units for the problem. Go to the domain tab and click on units. Find temperature and set it to degree Celsius. Next, let's set up the physics of the problem. Since we are solving a conjugate heat transfer problem, you have to turn on energy in the physics tab. To specify the viscous models, select viscous under the models section. The turbulence models available to choose from are laminar, k epsilon, k omega sst, k omega gecko and large eddy simulation. The flow regime for this problem is laminar, so select the laminar model and click okay. Apart from modeling heat transfer and turbulence, the GPU solver allows modeling of species transport without reactions. As mentioned earlier, other models have been grayed out as they are currently not supported by the GPU solver. Let's define the materials to be assigned to different parts of the domain. Go to the materials tab under the outline tree. Aluminium and air have already been defined and automatically assigned. since the tubes in the heat exchanger are made of copper we'll have to copy the copper material from the fluent database and define its properties appropriately to do this click on create/edit which opens up the create/edit materials dialog box click on fluent database change the material type to solid and select copper from the list click copy and close both the windows Now copper has been included in the materials list. The properties section of the create slash edit materials dialog box has options to modify the properties of the materials. To modify the property, select the appropriate setting from the drop down setting list associated with the property. The drop down list will list the settings that are supported by the fluent GPU solver. You will notice that currently the property definition settings available in the GPU solver are fewer in comparison to those available in the CPU drive solver. Click close to edit the materials tab. Next, in the physics tab, click on the cell zones. For the fluid and solid zones, fluent automatically assigns air and aluminum respectively. But for copper tubes, we have to manually assign copper material. 
Double click on solid tube 1 which opens up a window. Set the material name to copper and click apply. Do the same for solid tube 2. Then create mesh interfaces for the entire geometry by right clicking on mesh interfaces in the outline tree and selecting auto create. Fluent GPU solver supports the use of static non-conformal mesh interfaces. Let's define the boundary conditions. In the physics tab, click on boundaries and display the boundaries grouped by zone type. Open the velocity inlet dialog box by double clicking on the inlet boundary. We'll set the velocity magnitude of 4 meters per second and then go to the thermal section to give a temperature of 20 degrees Celsius. Hit apply. Next, we will open the outlet boundary which has been assigned as a pressure outlet boundary type. Set the same temperature of 20 degrees Celsius in the thermal tab and hit apply. Now let's move on to the wall inner tube 1 boundary. It is assumed that the 50% of ethylene glycol solution at 80 degrees Celsius flows inside the copper tubes at a velocity corresponding to a Reynolds number of 8000. The fluid flow inside the tubes is not modeled. Instead, a convective heat transfer coefficient is applied to the inner wall of the tube. We will set convection as the thermal condition and the heat transfer coefficient to 1050 watts per meter square Kelvin with the free stream temperature set to 80 degrees Celsius. Hit apply. Repeat the same steps for the wall inner tube too. Other boundaries will be automatically assigned with appropriate boundary conditions with respect to their names. With that, we have defined all the boundary conditions and we are ready to run the simulation. To know more about the boundary condition settings supported by Fluent GPU Solver, please refer to the user guide. Before we run the simulation, let's set up the solution methods. By default, the simple scheme is used for pressure velocity coupling. In the GPU Solver, only simple and simplex pressure velocity coupling schemes are available. Also, note that the pseudo time step method is not yet available for the GPU solver. To monitor the simulation, let's define an area weighted average temperature monitor for the outlet, which can be useful to judge convergence. In the solution tab, click on the report definitions, go to new, select surface report and area weighted average. Give it a name and select outlet from the surfaces. Select temperature as the field variable and hit OK. Let's now initialize and run the case. GPU solver supports standard and hybrid initialization methods. In this case, we will be using standard initialization with default settings. Now go to the run calculation window from the solution tab and set the number of iterations to 300. And now we are ready to run the simulation. Click on calculate and the iterations begin. The calculation is now complete. The temperature monitor shows that there is negligible change with iteration. Also, the residuals show a very low value. Thus, we can conclude that the solution has converged. Here is the temperature and pressure contours from the simulation. The post-processing is handled by the CPU cores and not by the GPU. So all the post-processing tools are available at your disposal as before. Let's now see how well the GPU solver did in terms of performance. For this, we ran the model on our HPC cluster with Intel Xeon Gold 6242 CPU and the same on NVIDIA A100 GPU. This table shows the average time for running the simulation for both CPU and GPU solvers. We can see that the GPU has outperformed CPU in all these cases. Compared to the 8-core CPU, a single GPU provided a 15.47x simulation solved speedup for a lowered fin heat exchanger. Note that the information regarding the solver time required per iteration and other performance statistics can be obtained after the computation is completed by using the usage option from the timer group of the parallel tab. To summarize, in this video, we started off by introducing GPUs and their potential to run simulations faster. Through a CFD simulation, example of a lowered fin heat exchanger run on native GPU solver, we explored the ANSYS Fluent features currently supported by GPU solver. In conclusion, the GPU solver in Fluent 2023 R1 offers a fast and efficient alternative to traditional CPU-based solver. 
as the GPU solver continues to evolve, we can expect to see more capabilities and other options added in future releases. That's it for this video lesson on how to set up and run a simulation using the GPU solver in Fluent 2023 R1. Thank you for watching and happy simulating.